We're going to talk about this thing called the architecture business cycle. And this is a pretty straightforward idea. And that is that there are a number of technical business and social influences on an architecture. Uh, a number of technical business and social things that are beyond the requirements that can actually end up influencing the structure of your architecture. Now, once an architecture is in place, the architecture and any systems that are built from the architecture can in turn influence the technical, business, and social environment, which in turn influence the future of the architecture, which in turn influence the technical, business, and social environment. This is a uh, cycle that goes on and on for the lifetime of a software system. <clears throat> it's important as an architect that you understand that there are these influences. Uh, it's important that you understand that it's not just requirements that are influencing the structure of an architecture. Uh, by understanding uh, these other influences, it helps you to better uh, predict and prepare for change throughout the lifetime of a software system.